What's up, y'all? <laughs> Hello, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well. I feel, I feel much better, kind of, just a little bit. It's been a rough week, but I don't know about you, but when I make it through like a really bad time, I always feel like so much stronger at the end of it. Like once it's all over, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> today's video is gonna be an Ulta haul. It's like a drugstore try on full face drugstore haul type thing. I don't know. None of that made sense. <laughs> anyway, I basically went to Ulta. I mean, I shopped online. I didn't go to Ulta. Actually, I did end up having to go to Ulta to return a couple things, but that's a whole other story. I mean, I have a bone to pick with Ulta. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm going to be doing an Ulta haul. I went on the website and I just searched for all new drugstore releases. So this is a full face. First impressions of new drugstore makeup. I'm excited. I'm actually excited about a lot of things in this box. So let's just get started because I don't want to be here all day. Okay, so the first thing is primer. This is from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Believe It Putty Primer. This is supposed to be an ultra luxurious, velvety, smooth putty primer infused with extensive exclusive butter blend to deliver a radiantly soft, poreless complexion. Great. I actually don't see that it says anything about being matte, which is nice, again, because I've been dealing with skin issues. I mean, I still have like a few things that just won't go away. So that's what it looks like. The packaging is cute. I mean, yeah. So I'm actually just gonna stick my face. Oh, this is like a bomb. Like this looks wet. Mm. I don't know about this. It says poreless, but it feels it feels like wet and dewy, you know? By the way, I know like my skin already looked wet and dewy, but since I've been having skin issues, I actually just like revamped my skincare routine with the help of my sister-in-law. I mean, she just told, she wrote out a whole skincare routine for me. Thank you. <laughs> it honestly feels like I just rubbed cocoa butter on my face. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. I mean, so far it looks okay. It looks dewy. I mean, I look dewy-er. <laughs> I don't really feel like it did anything for my pores. Anyway, for foundation, I'm actually really excited. I got this one from Morphe. This is the new Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. This is supposed to be medium to full coverage. It's infused with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, glycerin. It's supposed to be a long-wearing, oil-free, natural finish foundation that hydrates skin and blurs imperfections for the ultimate soft focus look. Awesome. I thought this was for some reason. I don't know why I thought it was matte. Anyway, this is what it looks like. This is actually really nice. It's like a frosted glass bottle. Wow. I am going to try half my face with a sponge with this foundation. And then I'm going to do the other half with this. This actually was a free gift with the purchase of the foundation. This is the Morphe E63. It's like a foundation brush. It's like a slanted. I don't know if y'all see that. It's like a slanted foundation brush. This looks interesting. It actually looks kind of similar to my It Cosmetics foundation brush. <laughs> I apply my foundation weird because I I don't like to go in with like a full pump right off the bat. I don't want to add too much too fast. So I'm just going to do that on this side of my face and blend it out with my sponge. Oh, okay. So I do, I do really like how that looks on this side with the beauty blender. It looks really skin-like. I mean, obviously the primer that I used was dewy, so the foundation looks a little dewy. I like it so far. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Wow, I made a mess over here. Let's do the other side with the brush. It is kind of like a thicker, like moussey foundation. Like you can see there, it's like a thick consistency. So it feels like it's gonna be like real thick and stuff on the skin, but it actually looks really skin-like. Wow, my nose is peeling just from like all the stuff I've been using on my skin. Anyway, aside from my nose peeling, like actually despite the fact that it's peeling, the foundation actually looks really nice on top of my skin. It looks so skin-like. And surprisingly, it actually looks the same on both sides. I almost like how it looks more with the brush than with the beauty blender. I mean, you can't really tell that much of a difference, but again, I didn't use a lot. A little bit goes a long way, I wanna say, with this foundation. I mean, it did even out my skin tone really nicely and I didn't really use that much, but you can still see like some of my imperfections peeking through. I like it so far. For concealer. I actually got this one from Wet n Wild. You know, I want to say when I did my last drugstore full face of makeup or whatever the hell, I, it was haul, I can't remember what it was. There were no new drugstore concealers 
So I'm assuming this has launched since then. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I, I don't have a drugstore concealer that I absolutely love. <laughs> so I'm like on the search for one. I have this in the shade Medium Neutral and it looks it looks pretty pale. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, Death's Light. Death's Real Light. Okay. I do like the applicator. It's like one of those like flat paddle applicators or whatever. Um, I feel like you get a good amount of product on both sides. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend this in. This is gonna be super brightening, but I feel like I kinda need that right now. <laughs> I don't know why, I feel like my dark circles have gotten, like I the darkness on the inner corner of my eye here has gotten so much worse. I mean, I look awake. <laughs> like, I think this would be a really nice concealer to wear on those days that you are wearing like a full, full face because it is, it does have pretty good coverage and this color is pretty brightening. I would only wear this light of a concealer if it was like one of those days where I'm wearing like really heavy eye makeup and I need to like balance it out, you know? Anyway, the next thing is this loose powder. This is from Black Opal. This is the True Color Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. I got mine in Neutral Light 200. I... I don't have a drugstore loose setting powder that I like either. I tried the NYX one, it didn't blow me away, and it felt kind of like putting cornstarch on my face, you know? Like, and at that point, I might as well just use cornstarch, you know? Anyway, as soon as I get this open, we'll continue. Oh, this looks like a really nice color. I like that. This actually might balance out this really light concealer. <laughs> so that's what it looks like there. It is like a more like medium to dark toned setting powder. That's a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, oh, that is like the perfect color for me. It might be just like a tad dark for my under eyes, but it actually balances out the color of that concealer really nicely. <gasps> It feels a lot like my higher end powders. You know what this feels like? <laughs> this actually feels a lot like the Laura Mercier setting powder. And it doesn't look like heavy or cakey, but it like really sets things down and it like mattifies without making it look too dry. I like that. Ooh, my face looks soft. I really like that so far. How long have I been here? 14 minutes and I've done nothing. Okay, so for blush, I actually have like a bunch of different stuff just because I, I am a whore for complexion products. Foundations, concealers, powders, blush, bronzers, highlights. Those are like my favorite things to hoard. <laughs> so before I go in with like a powder, uh, even though I already set my face, I'm actually gonna go, go in with these. These are from e.l.f. These are the Putty Blushes. I have the color Bali and Turks and Caicos. Hmm, Bali looks a little dark. Let me see, let me swatch them. Okay, so this is Bali. Oh, that's deep. But it looks, oh, but it blends out so nicely. So when you blend it out, it actually softens, which is really nice. This is really nice. And then I also got Turks and Caicos. And this is what Turks and Caicos looks like. It looks just like super peachy and pink and that's it there. So again, they look intimidating in here, but they actually blend out really softly. I think for today, I'm gonna go in with Bali, right? That's what it's called, right? You know, that is so weird. I always think that's so weird that e.l.f. does that, that they don't put the names of things on the component. Is that uh, like, am I crazy? Anyway, <laughs> I'm actually gonna use the butt of my sponge and just go straight in here and then just like go ham. Oh. That was a lot already, I need to chill. But it looks actually really nice even on top of the powder that I put on. I mean, it looks super dark in the pan, but like it comes off looking so soft. Wow, I'm like amazed. I'm gonna leave it here because I'm actually gonna put a powder blush on top. I got some powder blushes too, to be continued. But these are really nice. I was gonna actually pick up the new putty blushes or the, the soft matte blushes from NARS that they launched that, that looks really similar to this, but then I saw the e.l.f. ones and I thought to myself, self, why pay $30 a blush when you could pay like three or four or six or something? They're somewhere around there. <laughs> anyway, while I was checking those out, I saw this also. These are the Bite Size Face Duos. I actually have a bronzer in highlight and then I have a blush and a highlight. I don't really know which highlight I'm gonna use yet, but I'm definitely gonna use like the bronzer and then the blush in here. Maybe we'll just layer the highlights, you know? Let's just see where that goes. 
So this is the bronzer duo and I've got the shade coconut. I'm actually gonna take like a smaller stippling brush like this. This is from Luxie. This is the duo fiber powder brush, but I'm gonna use this. It's like an angled duo fiber. I'm nervous because this looks a little red toned. Oh, and there's like a sheen in there. I like the look of that already. <laughs> I always put too much bronzer on. <gasps> you guys. Das Party. It has like a gold sheen to it, but it's not like shimmer or glitter. It's just like a really nice like sheen. I like that. Let's do this side. You guys. But I love that. I love that color. I love the finish of that. It just it looks glowy on your skin without looking like a highlight. Does does that make sense? I love that. I don't know how much this was. I'm pretty sure it was like a few bucks. Y'all need this. Okay, let's try the blush now because now I'm I'm curious. I'm actually gonna use one of these uh, like the flat top duo fibers. This is. <laughs> and this is what this one looks like. This is like the blush duo. This is in Spiced Apple. The other ones just looked either too light or too dark and I just really wanted to try it before I bought too many of them. <laughs> this does look like a, just a matte blush. It doesn't look like it has like shimmer to it. Oh, and it looks so nice on top of the other one. You know, Elf is where it's at, dude. They look so nice on the skin. I'm loving this look so far. No, I'm actually feeling like this highlight might actually be too gold. They they do look a little crumbly and like it does look kind of like sheer glitter almost like sheer shimmer not quite glitter because it's not as chunky as glitter but it does look I don't know like you could tell in the pan a little bit it looks kind of chunky let's see this one is this one this one actually looks a lot smoother. Wow, that looks a lot smoother. I don't know if you can see that there. We're gonna use this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna dot in here. Wow, dust pigmented. But it does look a lot smoother than the one in the bronzer. That zit is still messing with my highlight. It's 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 almost gone though, it's almost gone. It's, it's figuring out its life. Yeah, I love this. <gasps> you guys, <laughs> yeah. You know what? The whole complexion I'm in love with. I'm in love with this whole complexion. Let's keep going. Oh, I have another blush. Why did I go so crazy on blushes? You know what? I'm probably gonna use this one too on top of everything I just used. Actually, maybe not. This one's from ColourPop. This is the Juice Bar Pressed Powder Blush. Or is this color called Juice Bar? I don't know. Anyway, it is, it does look like a shimmery type of blush. Let's, let's try a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, that looks like a lot. Let's just try this and kind of blend it in with that highlight. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I have way too much blush on now. But it does have like a sparkliness to it. It's a matte blush and it goes on matte, but it does have like a luminosity to it. I don't know. So it looks like shiny on the cheeks, but it's not sparkle. It's not glitter. It's not chunky. That's real nice. I love this. I might actually layer all three of those blushes on <laughs> every day. Anyway, okay, so the next thing in here is just eyes. Uh, this is from ColourPop. This is from the Make It Black collection. I have the Make It Unstoppable Super Shock Shadow Duo. The colors in here are Main Attraction and Millennium. So this is main attraction. Oh, this is broke. Anyway, that is a really pretty color. Oh, this one broke too, damn it. Anyway, this one is in Millennium and it's like a cranberry. Normally the Super Shock Shadows don't break like this because they're like a putty consistency, but um, they must have been like real rough with this package, y'all. I'm just gonna have to start buying my stuff in store. I think I may just use main attraction just because this is, this is a little more intense that I wanted to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this bronzer in my crease real quick. Oh wow, that looks really nice in the crease because it has that like gold sheen to it. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use main attraction. I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. Das real party. Oh my God, you guys, do y'all see that? This actually is a duochrome, wow. So it's gold, but it has like a very like hot pink shift. 
it. I've been actually like more going for like the single shadows <laughs> instead of eyeshadow palettes lately because I like that like glittery look. I really love these. They're like, they're like duochrome. Is it not showing up on camera? It's gold, but it shifts like hot pink. I love that. <laughs> Anyways. The next thing I have are these. These are from e.l.f. These are the liquid glitter shadows. I actually bought three of them. I have the shade Pinky Swear, which is like a pink rose gold type. I have Flirty Birdie, which is like a gold. And then I got Disco Queen, which is just silver, basically. Does it have, oh, it has like rainbow shimmers to it. Das Party. But I think this one is actually going to go with our look more let me swatch these though i was recently actually decluttering my makeup and i had like all these stila uh glitter and glow eyeshadows but they were all like completely dried out and i just i don't know i don't use them enough to pay like 25 dollars for each shadow now this one is disco queen it's like an icy glitter and it's like it looks like it has a clear base but it shifts like silvery with like rainbow shimmers in there it's not showing up on camera the way i want it to <laughs> anyway and this is pinky swear this is again like a rose gold and it just has like silver flecks in there death party anyway this is pinky swear down here again it's like a rosy glitter with silver flecks but i think today we're gonna use this i'm just gonna dot it really lightly this is flirty birdie and this is more like a flesh toned i don't know like a beige with a silver reflect so we're just gonna use this today i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna dot it and then just blend because i don't want it to be like super oh oh wow it actually blends out to almost nothing and all you see are like the silver flecks of stuff yeah i don't know if you can see that but it blends out to almost nothing on top of this shadow that I put on and all you can see are like the silver like glitters because I like glitter <laughs> and then I'm actually just gonna take my finger and go back over it with this ColourPop super shock shadow because I want this color but with just the glitter of the other one does that make sense <laughs> so I'm just gonna pat lightly over that glitter that I just put on just FYI there's fallout there's fallout all over my face <laughs> damn it you know, you'd think that with like a liquid glitter shadow that it would stick to your eyelid because it's like wet, but uh, that's not the case here. <laughs> the next thing I got was this from Physicians Formula. This is the long lasting water resistant matte monois butter eyeliner. I actually heard, I think, I think it was Casey Holmes talk about this and she like loved it. She said it was like really black, really matte. I don't know if I feel like doing eyeliner today, but you know, we're, we're here, so. I suck at eyeliner, FYI. This is gonna be like the babiest wing ever. You know, this looks like vinyl and it's like a brush tip. I actually prefer, oh, this is super black. It doesn't look like it's gonna be matte though. And it's not very precise. Maybe I just don't have enough shit on it, you know? Okay, that, uh, that's like the babiest wing I've ever done. Let's hope that the other side comes out somewhat similar. <laughs> All right, I don't wanna keep messing with it because it's just gonna get thicker and longer and fatter and I just, I'm not doing that. But this is what it looks like. It is drying down really matte and it does look really black. Like it looks really black. <laughs> and it almost went over the shadow like vinyl, but it dried down matte. So weird. Anyways, <laughs> this is really nice. I mean, if you're into like this whole black matte liner thing, that Physicians Formula one is really nice. Okay, for brows, I actually have this. This is new from Wet n Wild. This is the Brow Sessive Brow Shaping Gel. I didn't purchase this actually with this haul, but I purchased it with the last one and I just started using it last week. This is actually all that I've been using on my brows. I just pluck them so that they have a shape that makes sense. <laughs> but I've actually been really liking this just alone in my brows. I feel like it does kind of hold them in place and it also kind of fills in or like thickens what's already 
already there, so it looks like my eyebrows are filled in, but they're not. <laughs> and it takes like no effort. I'm into no effort lately. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, but I've gotten to a point to where I will literally show up to a Zoom call in my pajamas. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> For mascara, uh, I actually don't have a new one, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one from NYX. This is the Worth the Hype mascara that I talked about in my full face of NYX. Oh man, you know what? Some of that liner has like caked onto my eyelashes, so uh, beware. <laughs> yeah, that, that liner is like making my lashes look and feel kind of crusty. <laughs> so I would be careful and not get it in your lashes because it does, I mean, my mascara is kind of clumping. This mascara never does that. <laughs> Okay, so for lips, I did order like a lip balm. It's like a tinted lip balm from Catrice. But instead of sending me my lip balm, I actually got someone else's order and they sent me a bunch of MAC lipsticks. So, you know, <laughs> I will not be returning these. These are actually lipsticks that I don't have, which is a shocker. Anyway, the first one is Party Line. This is a cream sheen lipstick. Oh, Das Party. Das it there. And then the other one is a lip glass. This is Ruby Woo. And I have this lipstick, but I don't have the lip glass. And good God, that is pigmented. Do y'all see that? That's beautiful. <laughs> so I do feel bad for whoever received my Catrice lip balm. But because this is a full face of drugstore stuff, I'm actually going to use this. This is the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. Uh, it has hyaluronic acid. I did see that they actually launched new colors. This is not one of them, but I'm going to go ahead and use this because this is the newest thing from the drugstore that I have for lips. You know, I really love this lip gloss. First of all, it smells like gingerbread cookies and it's like a your lips but better type of gloss and it just feels so hydrating and it feels so comfortable and I love the colors. This is in the color 008 Stone. I also have 007. I can't remember what it's called, but um, I love them both. 007 seven actually lives in my purse because I just can't be without it. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for a full face of drugstore stuff. Loved this whole face. Really, I, I loved everything. There really wasn't anything I didn't like. Oh, except for this primer. I thought it was going to be like the e.l.f. putty primer where it was like more pore filling. This was the only thing out of the entire haul that I was like, nah. You know, I'll keep it. It looks nice. It's dewy, but it's not, it like, it really did nothing for my pores. Other than that, the blushes, the eyeshadows, the liquid shadows, this foundation looks amazing. The putty blushes are awesome. This powder from Black Opal, love this. And surprisingly, I actually really like this foundation brush that came with the Morphe foundation. Very nice. I, I like this. If this is still a free gift with the foundation, I say go for it. You know, the ColourPop blush, amazing. The two ColourPop single eyeshadows, beautiful. I've been using this brow thing from Wet n Wild like crazy. I'll have to keep trying this concealer. I feel like it was a little light for me, but I'm going to keep trying it. It does look really good under the eyes, very smooth, and it does have really good coverage. These e.l.f. face duos, y'all need them. Y'all need them right now. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe and stay tuned. <laughs> this is supposed to be an ultra luxurious, luxurious. <laughs> is that another zit? I don't know if y'all have noticed, but like, I don't like drugster. 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 <laughs> Oh my god, like all of this packaging just for this stupid little thing. <laughs> like, damn it, I'm wearing like a light colored sweatsuit <laughs> and I can't clean my hands off on my pants. <laughs> Normally I'm wearing black so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I should probably use a mirror, shouldn't I? And then maybe we'll layer the uh, stuffs. Okay, I need to blend this side because this, this was too much. Guys. Oh my god. Oh man. Anyway, okay, let's calm down. Seriously, because I'm gonna run out of time in here in a hot minute. Oh my god. R O P. Oh, color pop. <laughs> oh jeez. This this was a lot. Why did I do this? Did I blend that out properly? Probably took that a little higher than I should have. Oh well. Mm, I'm a little upset about these being broken. Put that back in there with the tool. I just got Ruby Woo in my hair. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Damn it. 
the two color, bo color, color, bo 